I can say uh, training centers and uh, who were actually giving it. But I got more contents from Edureka, oh. ideally from the course duration, uh, because it was not like a one or two months or a three. here once again, bringing you a new episode where we delve into the journeys of our aspiring learners at Edureka. Today, we are joined by Manoj Nair, who has successfully completed the post-graduation in DevOps course. Let's hear more about his experience in his own words. Hi, Tulsi. Uh, so, I'm Manoj Nair. As you already introduced, uh, I've been into the IT industry for over, almost 23 years now, and uh, I've been working right from you can say from the training part, started my career as trainer, then jumped into the development. And now I'm as a project manager leading out a team into software development. So that's a very short brief of uh, my career. Thank you so much for the introduction. So I want to know, how did you come to know about Edureka? Uh, so over a period, I was trying to, you can say over last two years, I was trying to get up some course. Uh, this is going to enhance my development part. And uh, as we were working on the software development, so we wanted to understand like how we can enhance it, how we can optimize it, because there were many things which were being manually done. And yes. right now in this autonomous, or you can say auto automatic industry, uh, we wanted everything to be, uh, you can say machine driven rather than a person driven. And the course that I was checking was specific like into how we can do all this build shift and lift shift and all. So DevOps was one uh, one area uh, that uh, I was looking out, which will help me and my team transition from doing that manual routine works into an automatic work. So that was, and while I was searching it, I came across many, uh, I can say, uh, training centers and uh, who were actually giving it. But I got more contents from Edureka, oh. ideally from the course duration. Uh, because it was not like a one or two months or a three months course so it was stretched around nine months and uh, yeah so that's the reason i went into it okay i'm really glad to hear that so what are the yeah. skills you learned from the post graduation program in devops so from devops uh, it started all from right the base what's okay. actually the development which okay. i didn't need, wanted to knew but yes uh, you can say as part of the curriculum or course, it was best to know like, okay, development also has an another meaning. It was yeah. not a meaning that I was carrying over my period or uh, my uh, tenure. So it also had a different meaning. I understood like how we can do a development in a different way, in yeah. a different mechanism. So the skills I learned was rather than just doing a standard, how we can do something different. So that was one thing I uh, got to learn from this particular course and mm -hmm. uh, the different, you can say, small, small uh, entities that are existing, which okay. we ideally ignore in the real world. We ignore it. But okay. if we can use it, embed it into the real, you can say, in the real life, into real program, that helps. So okay. that was something that I could learn from this particular entire course. Okay, that's really great. Uh, so yeah. what is the importance of post-graduation program in DevOps uh, within a technology company? Uh, within a technology company, it gives you a different, uh, you can say, accelerator. It gives okay. you an acceleration to move because just knowing DevOps won't help. Mm -hmm. You need to know right from what it, where it starts until where it ends. Yeah. So if I'm I'm a developer, I'm just working on a development part. That doesn't mean meet, you can say, the entire life cycle. The entire life, life cycle starts from where it begins until it ends. Yeah. So the overall, you can say, uh, the aspect of this course helped me to learning that understanding that and embedding that yeah, so okay. if you say how it helps in the company is you know everything yeah, there yeah. is nothing like you it is hidden or yeah. you don't know some function you don't know and you are depending upon some other so this particular curriculum helped me to saying like okay if there is some problem in uh, my area yeah. i can help but if in your area in a separate team members area if there is any problem yeah. i can also fix it so yes. this, that end-to-end -end meet was yes. possible with this particular course. Yes, yes. As we're talking about the importance of the post-graduation course, uh, so what difficulties do you anticipate encountering if you haven't pursued a DevOps course in your career? 
So if uh, DevOps was not there, uh, you can say the traditional mechanism of project management, that was uh, the prime. Uh, dependency, yeah. I had to uh, depend upon the team like, is it done? Is it yeah. completed? Has it been updated? How's the release management and everything is working? How are we monitoring it? So yeah. everything is on a dependency. Now yeah. today, I have my access. I can also check it. I can also yeah. view it. I can yeah. see whether the team has done the right thing. I can yeah. help them correct it if they're yeah. strong. So it, this has helped. So this has, I can say, transitioned my phase of a traditional model into a, you can say, in this real world or in this, you can say, this new world of technology. So yeah. DevOps course has helped me on that. Yes, yes. So I'm really glad to know that. So uh, according to you, what are the best aspects of Edureka? Best aspect is it's not limited, I will say. So it's not that nine months, the course is over, it's over. I'm still able to access uh, the site. I can still go through my uh, videos. I have some doubts. I go refer it. So every the presentation is available. I also have my labs ready. So in case if I want to do it, I have that mechanism available. So yeah. I'll say it's not end of the course. It's just a beginning. It's just a journey that has started. And yes, there are many things to come and learn further. That's what I see with Edureka. Great, great. In today's context, how crucial it is to stay informed uh, or up to date? In today's context, if you say technology is changing really fast, uh, we were seeing thinking of a technology when we were using the phones. You can say a traditional phones which were installed at home. Then the uh, then there was a way came where we were carrying these devices okay. through a mobile. But that was just, you can say, a small screen with a touch, you can say, uh, buttons, ideally. Yeah. And didn't have anything. It was just for a calling feature. Before okay. that, I think there was another thing called as a pager. Mm -hmm. Today, we are carrying smartphones. And in, you can say the next era will see something more uh, advanced yes, yes. with the introduction of AI. So staying informed is very crucial. If you are not with the technology, you are lost in this world. You don't know what to do. And it's very, very much critical in this way. Like DevOps. DevOps is something which had been started earlier. But the evolution of DevOps has been very fast in the last couple of years. And that has truly transitioned. So it's one area. Likewise, you have generative AI. You have uh, machine learning, which is getting advanced. So staying up to date is very, very important. Yes, yes, definitely. I agree with that. Uh, as we come to an end, uh, do you have any advice to our audience? So advice is to audience is uh, specific, be connected. That's very important. Be connected, not only with, you can say, the team members, but also with the world, also with the technology. Yeah. It's very important to learn and always learn. There is never an end to learning. It's not that I have completed an engineering, I've done some certification, That's that's it, no. Every day we have the technology changing. Yeah. Have, have that curiosity to learn and expand your horizon so that it can help you transition your career. And it's not limited. And nowadays we don't have a limitation like I am working as a project manager. I will be a senior project manager. Only that. No, I can transition. I can switch from a project manager to a different role. I can be my, uh, a strategic, uh, uh, you can say, CEO or something of a company. It's yeah. not limited. So, but yes, the curve of learning needs to be always there. Yeah. So, focus on it, build, and expand. That's yeah. the message. Great, great. Thank you so much. That was informative. Uh, today marks the conclusion of our time together. A heartfelt thank you to each and every one of you for being a part of today's session. I trust that this episode has provided valuable information for you. A special thanks to Manoj Nayo for being with us today. We are delighted that your journey with Edureka has been so fulfilling. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Tulsi. And uh, thank you, Edureka, for giving me an opportunity to share uh, my experience, my thoughts through this particular channel. Yeah. Thank you so much. Let's conclude for today. And I'll return with another episode next time. Until then, stay positive and keep learning with Edureka. Thank you.